This is WGEM Sports Extra. It finally feels like football season with a nice breeze tonight. However, it only took us three weeks to get here. We start off our trip across the Tri-States tonight up north as Quincy went on the road to take on the Rocks of Rock Island. Let's get right into the action. We pick things up in the first quarter. Quincy High up 9-0. Running back Jareus Rice takes it on the outside edge. Nobody's going to get him all the way in for the touchdown. Blue Devils up 15-0 moving along into the second quarter. The Rocks are going to find some momentum, but Javion Clark Pugh's pass is intercepted. Drennan Carver coming up with a big play, putting Quincy in good field position. Blue Devils looking to drive up the score now, but the Rocks, they come up with their own interception, denying the Blue Devils a chance. Caden Johansson coming through with the pick, hoping to give Rock Island that spark before halftime. However, to no prevail, QHS would go on and win this one. 41 to 7. QND was also in action at home tonight, putting together a tough test. The Raiders just have to find a way to plow through this part of the schedule and get better for the upcoming battles ahead. Their defense was tested yet again. Taylor Scott and Eddie Murray get to the Muhammad quarterback for the big time play. The Raiders slug it out week after week and they're getting tougher. QND kept battling here. Aiden Clouser coming up big for the Raiders, getting those yards after the catch to pick up the first down. On offense, they did more of the same. Noah Lunt gets into it, but Muhammad Seymour was really good and they were too much tonight. When it's all said and done, QND loses this one 42 to 14. It was senior night in Macomb. Fan section getting all pumped up. I like that White Sox, White Sox that I see in the crowd. First drive of the game, Illini West off play action. Find Nick Johnson wide open on the left side of the field. He pick up some extra yards on that one later in the drive. Chargers looking to punch it in, and they do. A little misdirection allows Johnson to give Illini West the lead. Bombers would be quick to answer. How about this play? Bad snap from Brayden Holthouse is able to make some magic and connects with Drew Watson. He does his best Randy Moss impression with the grab. A few plays later, my pick to click comes through for the Bombers. Ian Case reels in the touchdown grab, and you can say the case was closed after that one. Bombers take down the Chargers 38 to 12 on senior night. About 12 miles away in Bushnell, the Spartans were in action for some eight man football. Their defense was locked down all night long, leading 30 0 after the first quarter, thanks to big plays like that one. Following possession, Bushnell gives it to their back, Wayne Huffman, who wiggles around and finds the end zone for himself. On the defensive side, Galva had no answer for the tough Spartan D. Bushnell forcing another turnover off the interception. They go right back to their workhorse in Huffman. And ring, ring, what's that? Just another house call for my guy, number one, taking it all the way across the pylon for the touchdown. Bushnell runs away with this one, and they take down Galva tonight and make a big statement win. For military night, they were repping the National Guard Camp Point at the top of the second half. The Panthers led 46-0, but they did not let up off the kickoff. Central's Drew Pabin struggling to grab the ball at first, but when he does, it's off to the races. Takes it to the right side, not seeing a route. Throws the defender for a loop by swinging to the left side off the field and taking that ball for a considerable amount of yardage, setting up the Panthers for yet another touchdown. And it wasn't just the offense who were on fire tonight. The defense handled themselves well, like here where number two Joseph Friday lays down Beardstown running back. And here's where the magic happens. Beardstown's quarterback throws the ball up, praying for a receiver to make something happen. But number four, Wyatt Schmetterhorn had other plans, intercepting the pass and securing the first and goal at the end of the night. Central will take the game 60 to nothing against Beardstown. A back and forth game tonight in Rushville Industry where the Rockets own Brady McGinnis marching the Rockets downfield to catch up to the Trojans. However, the Trojans would answer with their own touchdown coming out on top of the Rockets. However, the Rockets moved downfield as Grace Kabamba put the Rockets back up just before halftime. The final after four in this one, Weathersfield runs away with this one 29 to 20 over Rushville Industry. In other Illinois scores, Williamsville defeats Pittsfield 49 to 13. West Central gets by Carroll, West Central falls to Carrollton 30 to 26.